So we're going to look at how to write the formulas for ions when we're given the name of the ion. So for example, if I'm given the sodium ion, I can look on the periodic table and find sodium, which is Na, but then I need to figure out what the charge is. So if I look at the group one that sodium's in, I can see that all of those have a plus one charge. So I'll just write a plus up here. I don't actually have to put the one. And that's the chemical formula for the sodium ion. If I wanted to write the chemical formula for the chloride ion, I would look up chlorine on the periodic table, and it's Cl, and I can see that all of the elements in group 7, or 17 there, they have a negative 1 charge, so I'm just going to write a negative here, and that is the chemical formula for the chloride ion. So pause for a second and write the chemical formula for each of the following ions. You should have written Ca2 plus for the calcium ion, and then the nitrite ion is N3 minus. So let's take a look now at the polyatomic ions. For polyatomic ions, the periodic table doesn't help us. You need to either memorize each of the polyatomic ions or look them up on a table of ions. So if we're given something like the carbonate ion, we can look it up and see that the carbonate ion is CO3 2 minus. Often polyatomic ions will end in eight, like the carbonate ion, or ite, but sometimes they end in ide, like the hydroxide ion. If you can't find it on the periodic table, there's a chance that it might be a polyatomic ion, and you should check the table. Press pause and write the formulas for the following polyatomic ions. If you click the link there, that'll open up a table of common polyatomic ions. You should have written SO4 2 minus for the sulfate ion, and then there's our friend the hydroxide ion, OH minus. So to wrap up, if you have elements, ions with only one atom, you're going to need to look at the periodic table to determine their charge. For polyatomic ions, ions with two or more elements, you're going to need to look at a table or have them memorized. The key to success is lots of practice, and you can get that on my website under the Naminator section at the link below. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.